for many years, we are born again, I and my wife and my family. And we are attending Redeemed Christian Church of God in Nigeria. Okay. But now, when we came to United Kingdom, I tell you most of the things that is happening in Nigeria, the worst, the worst thing are happening in UK here. Wow. We attend uh, a Redeemed Christian Church in uh, Manchester. And I want to tell you, um, most of the things happening, people are informed. Uh -huh. In that church, immediately we got to this church, I told my wife, I said, look, there is a closed circle television in this church. My wife said, what is that? I said, please just watch. They have about three screens in that church. And, uh, you know, when the camera is focusing on you, or uh, is focusing on the activities of the church, you will see people. You will see, you will see, you will see people on the screen. And I told my wife, look at that a camera that is by the right in the corner. That camera is moving. The camera will continue to move, but it's not, you don't see what that camera is speaking. The little, you see the that very camera is is is, is connected to uh to a uh, to a television in the in the pastor's room. Wow. So when so what, what they do there is that when the speakers come, they, invite, they, they mostly they used to invite a prophets from Ghana, they come from Ghana, they be prophet, prophet time. So when people come in, when people come in and settle down, the, the camera will already focused on the people, the way they sit down, and the past must have given uh, the guest speaker or the prophet, whatever they call it, that look, that lady, this is a problem, this one too is a problem, this what one this one is doing. This this one is not having us man. We have to appreciate this one. So by the time the prophet will now come out, he has gotten information, he has closed, he has gotten information about the people sitting down. We have to see their angles. So the camera of the the, 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 the the pastor has television in his room in his office. He, yes, he has his own screen. And then and and uh they will be using the, I mean, the, that, camera, that camera will be focusing the sitting arrangement and everything. So while the, 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 the prophets will be sitting with the pastor, while everybody is sitting down, everything before the, the, the prophet comes out, he has known, he has known things about, if he has gotten the information, and then we we'll start to prophesy. So these are part of the things that is happening there. When we were in that church, a lot of witchcrafting, as I'm talking, they know who is talking, they know. They know it's the Redeemed Christian Church in Manchester. They, they know they know me. It's only I will not mention uh, details about the church, but they know I'm the one talking. You see, on the day that was the time I had an accident, the pastor was very, very happy. Wow. Because, because we stand for the truth, we tell them the truth in that church. In the Sunday school, I will stand up to correct a lot of things. So when I had an accident, you know, when I had an accident, the pastor was happy. And I want you, and I want to advise people. If you go to start churches, I know they practice witchcrafting. Don't tell them, please. And I'll tell you the reason why I'm telling you this. Don't tell them, just leave the church. There was an incident. A lady, I won't mention the name of the lady. The lady came for... Uh, uh, the lady came for a master's degree. Already, I and my wife were already planning to leave that church. The lady came for a master's degree in that kingdom here. The guy just phoned on the Sunday after service and phoned my wife. He said, Auntie, there is a lot of witchcraft. The guy is a born again. I think she was, maybe she was attending a deeper, deeper life uh, in Nigeria. So the guy just phoned and said, Auntie, there is a lot of witchcrafting going on. This, they, are practice, they are practicing witchcrafting in this church. And I was told that lady, I was here on the telephone, that look, we too are about to leave the place because we discover what they are doing there. But we made one mistake. The party is a very, very young girl. We made, a, 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 we, we made one mistake. You're supposed to advise the girl that look, what you said, you better don't say it anywhere. I want to tell you, lower below, 
After two weeks after, the girl was the girl has a mental problem. And this girl, when she had that mental problem, we didn't even know. We saw the pastor and the wife, the two of them very, very happy. They came into the church and said to the whole congregation, they said, Yes, I want us to pray for sister so 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 against the spirit of madness. That is what happened in the Jim Christian Church in Manchester. It's wow. just a contribution for every other person to know that if you go to a place where you see that type of thing, just leave the place, don't complain about them. Thank you very much. God bless you. Because they will use it against you, eh? Ah, uh, yes. The, wow. guy, the, guy run, the guy run has the mental problem. And the pastor came to the church. To announce it. Came to the church. And the wife galvanized him. Yeah, that's so sad. Thank you so much.